Let's continue leveraging Sysmon and Curator to detect uh, bad guys. If you Google this in here, Sans DFRR Find Evil Poster, you'll be taken to this uh, uh, website that gives you some Sans recommendation of finding rock processes. And actually, this might not be a bad poster to have around. So if I click in here, So lots of goodies in this poster and some of these we have already implemented on the rules that Mutas wrote and he keeps producing more like the one we are showing right now. But let me actually focus in here on one that is a common target for bad guys, which is svchost.exe. And there are very simple ways of knowing whether this process is valid or not. First is where it's actually being launched. This is launched from this directory, then it might be a, a, a still a good thing. The next one is, what's the name of the parent? Who is really launching this? Is this a common uh, a command shell? Is it a power, a power shell? Uh, who is launching? Is this services.exe and it's launched from this directory? Chances are there is the valid SVC host that we commonly see. But another, yet another option is that typically this command is launched by the system with the dash K option. So let's actually use those into detecting whether a process is actually the real SVC host or not. So I have the Windows system in here where we're going to be launching uh, this actually SVC host.exe, which is actually a, a, a not a real one, this is a bad uh, SVC host uh, created. We have Kali here on the back ready for the exploit. And in Curator, we can we have the log activity looking for only events that fire from the uh, custom rules engine, and we have no offenses. So let's actually go ahead and launch uh, SVC host. Oops. Again, I'm, I have shown you that with PowerShell you can download this in multiple ways. I'm just not using PowerShell in this example and just launching the process. And notice that this is a malicious one and actually we got Kali to open a, a session here so the machine has actually been uh, compromised. And we actually got uh, several events that uh, fire on this. Let's analyze them in lieu of this uh, new rule that Mutas created. If we switch to offenses tab, we see that Curator fire just one offense, but actually has combined all these events. So these are all the things that I had detected. So let's actually take a look at the rules so we can see the new intelligence that has been put in here. Let's take a look at this one, Suspicious SBC Host Process Detected. So this one actually begins by, is this a Windows log? If yes, then is this a process create? Uh, and that's the, the these two process IDs uh, that can be uh, fired when the process gets created. And also, is this SVC host? Yes, it is. Well, if the process command line is not, not available, I mean, there's something. And it does not match the dash K. Remember that in the poster it says that SVC host is only launched with the dash K option. Then that's why this rule actually fire. Let's actually go to this particular rule. And this is actually a very interesting one. What Mutas did is he created a setup map or a, or a data structure in which it puts the name of the executable as well as the uh, the parent uh, relationship. So in this particular case, he's actually checking on that reference map. And this is a reference map that you can change and add your, your own processes that you want to verify. They don't have to be just the Microsoft processes that uh, he put in here, but it can be anything that you want to add. He's actually mapping whether the parent process is the valid one or not. 
And let's actually take a look at the at this other rule that fire started very similar Windows log the process and now it's looking at that reference map to see whether the path where the process was launched is the expected one as you see this is a simple way of matching that those recommendations on that poster is very unlikely that anyone can uh, escape this detection mechanism uh, the other rule that we had is a rule that we show in the previous use cases uh, that refers to a sensitive uh, program of the ADL launch. Uh. So but these three rules are the one that Mutas had added and notice how he can uh, actually detect the, those rogue processes. And just for completeness, if you want to see where that data structure is, one way is to go into the APIs go here on the reference data map of sets and you can actually execute this to get the name of all the reference set this is a clean system so it has very little information so for example this one the one that does the parent process map to process path so I'm going to take this and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go down here under the name and I'm gonna put that value here if I'm doing this right I should get the list of all the, the what that content and here we see you know the process the process the the the, the key search is the name of the executable and then we see the path you know where all these uh, this is actually the parent process this is not the path but the, the, uh, this is the 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 content and this is how you can actually go ahead and and, and add to this table the components uh, that you may want to add in your system say that you have a, a critical application and you want to make sure that critical application is only launched from this particular process and the parent you can replicate and expand what what mutasa has created here in your very own uh, environment